Well, Bono's football team is going through a transition this year after the realignment of classifications, and so far they've found success. Our Dina Balthazor spoke with the team about life at a new level. The 2020 football season for the Botano Braves looks a little different. If you've been to a game this year, you'll notice they have two less players out on the field. That's because they moved to the nine-man division. Players say while they're still getting used to the differences, it makes practices more competitive. It's been going pretty well. We're coming out here and we're competing with each other every day. It makes practice pretty fun. When we got the numbers that we can, before an 11-man, we didn't have really have enough guys to go full team O and team D, but we can make it really competitive. It's really fun this year. Bodno has a lot of returners this season, and head coach Zach Keller says having the senior leadership is huge, especially after the move. It's been great. I mean, all four of our captains are seniors. They're both guys that have played a lot of football. Um, they play winter sports too. They're vocal, and they also lead by example. So it's been easy on me because it's kind of an extension of me, and it's been great. The Braves have scored 180 points and only given up 20 to their opponents through four games. Keller credits his offense for stepping up early in the season. Pretty solid running team right now. We got two good running backs. Our offensive line's been doing a really good job. We've been using a two quarterback system, so it's been a lot of different guys getting a lot of guys reps, so it's been going well. And senior Trayson Pullman says he hopes to keep the momentum going by simply. I think we need to just stick together as a team and keep working, you know. You can't get complacent, can't get lazy. Reporting in Botno for KX Sports, I'm Adina Balthazor. The Braves look to stay undefeated as they travel to TGU this week. We'll have that game on our Friday night.